Jenny Gerhardt, a novel written by Theodore Dreiser in 1911, chronicles the struggles of a socially disadvantaged woman whose relationships with wealthy men thrust her into challenging circumstances while also providing her with a means of survival. Dreiser, a proponent of naturalism, depicted characters who made choices that defied the moral standards of their time, yet maintained a sense of personal morality. In this context, Jenny emerges as a protagonist who, despite indulging in socially unacceptable actions driven by her romantic inclinations, is portrayed as fundamentally good and morally upright loosely inspired by Dreiser's own upbringing. The novel draws upon his two sisters as the inspiration for the character of Jenny. Jenny Gerhardt, the daughter of German immigrants, finds herself in dire financial straits due to her father William's illness. To make ends meet, Jenny and her mother take on the role of charwomen at a hotel in Columbus, Ohio, eventually finding work as laundresses for some of the affluent guests. One such guest is Senator George Brander, who becomes infatuated with Jenny when she delivers his laundry to him. George expresses his desire to marry Jenny, but her staunchly religious father, a glassblower, forbids her from seeing him. Once again facing financial hardships, Jenny and her brother Bass resort to collecting fallen coal from passing trains. Bass, a self-assured dandy who considers himself above his social standing, impulsively jumps onto a train and pushes some coal off, resulting in a fine. To rescue her brother from imprisonment, Jenny seeks George's help, which ultimately leads to her succumbing to his seduction. However, before they can marry, Senator George Brander dies from typhoid fever, leaving Jenny pregnant. Disapproving of her actions, Jenny's father denounces her and sends her away. Shortly afterward, William leaves in search of work, while Jenny returns to her mother's home. It is there that she gives birth to her daughter, Vesta. William grows fond of Vesta and arranges for her baptism, signifying a change of heart towards his granddaughter. After leaving Vesta behind, Jenny and Bass relocate to Cleveland in search of employment, eventually joined by their mother and younger siblings. In Cleveland, Jenny secures a position as a lady's maid in a wealthy household, where she encounters Lester Kane, a friend of her employer. Lester, captivated by Jenny, lavishes her with gifts and money, persuading her to accompany him to New York. Jenny chooses to conceal the existence of her daughter from Lester, just as she hides her unwed status from her father. Although Lester contemplates marriage with Jenny, he ultimately opts to keep her as his mistress due to their differing social backgrounds. This arrangement persists for several years. When Vesta falls ill, Jenny confesses the truth about her illegitimate daughter. Surprisingly, Lester remains undeterred, and Vesta comes to live with Jenny. However, Lester's family, concerned about the permanence of his involvement with Jenny, pressures him to sever their relationship. Initially resistant, Lester eventually succumbs to their influence upon his father's death, learning that he must part ways with Jenny to inherit his share of the family's prosperous business. In a selfless act, Jenny insists that Lester comply with his family's wishes. Subsequently, Lester encounters Letty Gerald Pace, a wealthy widow and his former flame, while traveling in Europe. Jenny believes Letty is a suitable match for Lester. Prior to marrying Letty, Lester ensures that Jenny is financially secure. Tragically, Vesta succumbs to typhoid fever, prompting Jenny to adopt two orphan children. Despite the trials they have endured, Jenny and Lester's love for each other endures. When Lester falls ill, he calls for Jenny to nurse him on his deathbed. There, he confesses his enduring love for her. Jenny attends Lester's funeral, but must conceal her grief. Dreiser's second novel, Jenny Gerhardt, marked his first commercial success. In his original draft, Dreiser had Lester marry Jenny, but he chose to revise the ending to reflect the social constraints of the time, resulting in a more realistic conclusion. Due to its moral ambiguity, including themes of premarital intimacy and questions of religious morality, Harper's Magazine decided to revise Theodore Dreiser's book before its publication. The revisions involved the removal of approximately 25,000 words, which significantly altered the social commentary Dreiser intended to convey. As a result, the love story took precedence, and the critical examination of social constructs became more subdued. Elements that questioned societal norms, such as William's unwavering religious beliefs and Jenny's undisclosed marital status, lost their impact. Harper's Magazine acknowledged the extensive changes made, including the elimination of profanity, the correction of slang used by characters, 
and the toning down or removal of nearly all references to sexual content. While critics often label Jenny as weak-willed, the story itself reveals that each character is a victim of circumstances in their own way. Lester is constrained by the expectations of an affluent society, Jenny by her romantic inclinations, and William and his family by their immigrant status and poverty. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.